Hi, I'm John and welcome to Bright Spark Ideas. This is going to be a really short video on how I uh, pump the water from this rain barrel that's connected to the gutter of the house uh, across to my rain barrels um, for rain barrels that will uh, feed my raised beds. Um, I'm going to put links to the uh, how I built um, put the uh, rain barrel system and also um, how I built the solar generator uh, that powers the pump uh, that pumps this across. So uh, if you've got any questions, please ask them and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. So this is uh, how I pump the water from this uh, rain barrel that is connected to the house gutter and basically I use this pump here and I power it uh, using the, um, if you've seen my other video, you've seen how I built the, the solar generator. Uh, and I can pump this into uh, um, the rain barrels that I have for storing the water. So uh, let me uh, let me take the top off of this so you can see. Okay. These these uh, husky crates are great because they're waterproof. They've uh, got this uh, little uh, seal around the outside here of the lid. But here's here's the pump. Pretty straightforward um, through pump. It's got a little little uh, filter on the intake um, and over here is uh, a remote control um, so that I can actually um, keep this sealed up and just turn it on and off and I'll show you how I do that but uh, pretty pretty simple straightforward design for the pump before we move on I thought I'd uh, just quickly tell you a little bit about the pump and why I chose it purchased it from Amazon um, it's uh, Cola Flow and it's a self priming pump, which is really uh, important to me. Um, you can just connect it up to the barrel and it will immediately start uh, pumping as soon as you turn it on. It's, the flow is about five uh, gallons per minute, um, which is perfect for what I needed. Um, as I said, it's quiet. Um, it's easy to uh, fit into a little box like this. It's not gonna overheat. Uh, in, a, in a, a box of this size. Um, let me see, you can pretty much see how I connected it. Um, my input connection is down here and it uh, goes over to the, um, the switch here which I use the remote control and then down into uh, the pump itself. So very very simple connections, nothing very complicated. Anybody can put this together uh, very easily. Um, so uh, let's get on and uh, start pumping. Okay, let's start pumping the water across. All we need to do is turn the spigot on here and in my hand I have the on off switch so okay you can hear that but you can probably see that the water is going around and around in the filter. These pumps are really quiet especially when it's inside uh, this, uh, this husky box. So let's take you over to uh, where... <laughs> no I'm not going to walk all the way over there. Let's go over to where it's being pumped. Okay we're up at the barrels and this is uh, where it's being pumped in. Um, you can probably hear the water going into the barrels. So I think I explained this before, but uh, let's see. When this barrel here gets full, um, I'm trying to stand over here so you don't get flare from the sun. Um, we're going to go from this barrel will fill up, it'll come up to this level, it'll come through here, start filling this barrel here, 
and then it's going to come into here into this barrel and so forth until all four barrels are completely full um, when all four barrels are full um, I'm going to keep uh, draining them out um, to run my uh, drip system and my sprinkler system for my raised beds however it's probably never going to rain again here in California so this uh, project this year might uh, might not get a lot of use. Still, we'll see.